Well, hi everyone, good morning. I just want to encourage you again, as I do from time to time. Don't listen to our daily devotion and think, well, that's done a tick. Let me get on with my day. I like to look at it like this. If I snack on a little bit of food each morning and think that's that, that's all I need to sustain a healthy life and grow, it's not going to be long and my body will be in trouble because it's not getting the nutrients and protein that's needed to stay healthy. Well, it's the same with our spiritual lives. A three-minute daily devotional is not enough for a healthy and growing spiritual life. In fact, it will do more damage than good because you think it's enough, but it's not. Well, it's the same with prayer. A vibrant, satisfying prayer life is not achieved by throwing the odd prayer up to God every now and again. You know, there's something Jesus said in the Gospel of Mark chapter 11 and verse 22. This is what he said to his disciples. Have faith in God. And then he goes on in verse 24 to tell us why we should have faith in God. And he says this, I tell you, you can pray for anything and If you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. Now, we always love quoting verse 24 when it comes to getting what we want from God. But verse 24 is obtained through verse 22. First, we need faith in God. And faith in being sure that what we ask for. And faith in knowing that God will grant our prayers. I like to think of prayer like this. It's got three legs and all stand with each other. In other words... You can't leave one out. One leg is the word of God. The other leg is the spirit of God. And the third leg is the application of the word as revealed and guided by the Holy Spirit. So you've got word, spirit, and application. This morning, why don't you go and read Mark chapter 11. And it'll put verse 22 and 24 into context. And then ask the Holy Spirit to what's in chapter 11 to minister to you. Amen. Well, it's always a privilege to share your morning with you. I trust you're going to have a great day. And may God bless you.